Welcome to the Literary Digest. Please subscribe to the channel or give a like and comment on this video if you find it helpful to help us reach more people. Manifestation is the art of framing an intention so vividly that it becomes deeply lodged in the mind's unconscious, activating brain networks oriented toward achieving that goal. It involves cultivating a fierce belief in possibility that you are capable of ensuring your own well-being and success, rising beyond your circumstances. This practice generates dispositional optimism, a trait that has been linked to numerous benefits, including better physical and mental health, increased resilience, and a greater likelihood of achieving goals. It is rooted in ancient spiritual traditions like the Vedic scriptures and New England Transcendentalists' Law of Attraction. Today, our understanding of neuroplasticity, the brain's ability to reorganize neural pathways, provides scientific insights into manifestations mechanisms, showing that this ancient spiritual practice is rooted in science. By focusing thoughts and emotions on desired outcomes, we strengthen associated neural pathways, increasing the likelihood of aligned actions and creating a self-reinforcing manifestation cycle. While not a panacea, manifestation empowers resilience, positive mindsets, and aligning actions with our deepest aspirations by unlocking the mind's potential. This summary will walk you through the six steps of effective visualization and manifestation. Chapter 1. Step 1. Focus. Within each of us lies a potent inner power waiting to be activated. With this power, we can endure discomfort, delay gratification, and control our response to any situation. What is this power? Focus. Through focus, we can channel our attention toward our positive inner intentions, transcending the distractions and obstacles that life throws our way. In the world we operate in today, our focus is under constant threat. Smartphones, for instance, are designed to pull at our attention, with the average American spending a staggering 1,460 hours per year on these devices equivalent to 91 waking days. These devices are engineered to steal our attention, and when we lose control of our focus, we can feel helpless and fatigued. However, smartphones are not the only culprits, other environmental factors, conditioned discomfort, and cycles of negative thought and behavior can all contribute to a sense of helplessness and inability to change. But this helplessness is an illusion. We all possess agency, the power to shape our lives and circumstances. What we need to regain is the sense of agency and self-efficacy, the belief that we are capable of accomplishing our goals. Self-efficacy is a potent force, often serving as a self-fulfilling prophecy. A robust sense of self-efficacy drives us to aim higher and work harder in pursuit of our aspirations. It is the foundation upon which our power to manifest rests, enabling us to break free from the mental habits that keep us trapped in feedback loops of misery, apathy, and hopelessness. To produce the results we desire, we must first believe in our ability to produce those results. This is where metacognition, the awareness and understanding of our own thought processes, comes into play. Metacognition allows us to recognize and overcome the limiting beliefs and patterns that hold us back, paving the way for personal growth and transformation. To build your inner power of focus and cultivate a sense of agency and self-efficacy, try this exercise, find a comfortable position, relax, and breathe deeply. Visualize yourself displaying the behavior you would like to manifest, see in great detail how you would perform this behavior. After five minutes of visualization, write your goal down on paper. Close your eyes and embed this intention by visualizing yourself carrying it out. In the morning, read your written goal to reinforce the intention for the day. Whenever you actualize this intention, record a sentence congratulating yourself for meeting your intention. Chapter 2, Step 2, Clarify Getting what you want depends on knowing what you truly desire. In today's manifestation culture, there is often a misguided focus on material wealth, cars, houses, and status symbols. However, this is a distortion of the true power of manifestation. While manifestation can certainly bring abundant gifts, trying to manifest a high-end car isn't aiming high enough. 
To unlock the full potential of manifestation, we must cultivate a more discerning approach to our feelings and needs. Be mindful of times when you feel positive, fulfilled, and whole. Reach into your memory and recall those moments when you felt aligned, supported, and at peace. Perhaps it was when you were surrounded by loved ones, lost in deep focus on a passion project, serving others, or connecting with nature. Positive emotions are powerful catalysts for manifestation. They activate our inner reward system and direct our brain's attention to the experiences that caused them, setting our internal compass to recreate those experiences over and over. You can harness this cognitive pathway by attaching an intention to feelings of strong positivity. The brain filters information through a process known as value tagging, in which it assigns emotional value to various stimuli, experiences, and memories. When we tap into and are mindful of positive experiences, we can remind ourselves of how real and attainable those positive feelings will be when we accomplish our intention. Reconnecting with your inner power and potential can be overwhelming, as a flood of desires and wants may suddenly surface. Which ones should you pursue? To gain clarity, set aside some dedicated time and quiet space. Sit in a relaxed position and visualize success. Don't fixate on any specific image or idea that presents itself. Instead, let your mind wander freely. Next, engage in a body scan relaxation technique. This involves mentally scanning your body from head to toe, consciously relaxing each muscle group as you go. This practice helps release physical tension and quiets the mind, preparing you for deeper visualization. Now, visualize success again, this time homing in on the details. Engage all your senses, what does success look, feel, and sound like? Immerse yourself in the experience, allowing your vision to become vivid and tangible. Finally, record your image of success in writing. Silently read what you have written, then read your text aloud, further reinforcing the intention and embedding it into your unconscious. Chapter 3, Step 3, Silence the Inner Critic The greatest obstacle preventing you from achieving your goals is not external, it's the negative inner voice that constantly puts you down and erodes your self-belief. This internalized negativity stems from the sympathetic nervous system, the network of nerves responsible for the ancestral fight-or-flight response. While this system was once crucial for our survival, it is maladapted in the modern world, creating an inner critic that discourages risk-taking and dampens ambition. Each time we listen to this negative internal monologue, we metaphorically add another brick to the wall imprisoning us within our own limitations. The more energy we expend on these self-disparaging thoughts, the more we internalize them as facts rather than destructive fictions. This inner critic acts as a resource vampire, sapping cognitive and emotional reserves that could be better directed toward our goals. To break free from this toxic cycle, we must find ways to soothe the primitive nervous system driving the negativity bias. One powerful technique is to consciously cultivate self-compassion through meditative practice. By relaxing the body and mind, we reassure our brains that all is well, allowing the anxious voices to quiet. Try this exercise, dedicate some uninterrupted time to being alone. Sit comfortably, relax your breathing, and systematically release tension from each muscle group. Vividly recall a cherished memory of feeling unconditionally loved and allow the positive emotions to wash over you. As negative self-beliefs inevitably arise, imagine them gathering outside your safe perch rather than letting them in. Write each one down, then replace it with its opposite affirmation. For instance, transform I'm not good enough into I am good enough. With regular practice disempowering the inner critic, you can rewire ingrained mental patterns and reclaim the optimism and resilience to go after your biggest dreams. Chapter 4, Step 4, Embed Your Intention when Jim Carrey was a struggling actor living in a rundown Toronto apartment, he did something audacious. He wrote himself a check for $10 million for acting services rendered, dated it for Thanksgiving 1995, and carried it in his wallet. This bold act of manifesting his dreams into reality may seem foolish, but just a few years later, Carrey was one of the biggest comedy stars on the planet. 
His story illustrates the power of embedding intentions deeply into the unconscious mind. You see, our brains tend to be miserly about absorbing new information, a byproduct of our energy-conserving evolutionary past. Just as an iceberg has most of its mass underwater, our minds often take in only the tip of mountains of incoming data, filing away just the essentials. For an intention or goal to really take root, it needs sustained reinforcement. This is where visualization comes in. By repeatedly imagining our desired outcome in vivid detail, we train our brains to recognize and become comfortable with that future reality. This cognitive ease signals the mind to start devoting mental resources to making that vision a tangible success. Incredibly, the subconscious will even work on manifesting goals in the background while our conscious mind is occupied elsewhere. To start embedding your own powerful intentions, try this exercise, set aside quiet time for meditation, sitting upright with eyes closed. Bring to mind a specific goal or dream you wish to manifest, and spend several minutes visualizing it as richly as possible, the location, accompanying people, your emotional state, every shimmering detail. When your mind wanders, gently return it to the image. Take deep breaths, relax your muscles, and really absorb the visualization into your body. Afterwards, describe the experience in detailed writing, then read it both aloud and in silence. With daily reinforcement, you'll be priming your unconscious to make that intention a reality. Chapter 5, Step 5, Chase Your Intention Passionately Manifestation is not a magic wand, it's a practice that unfolds step by step. Like any skill, it's best to start small before attempting more audacious goals. Demonstrating passionate commitment and learning from setbacks along the way are crucial. When you do experience success, no matter how incremental, savor that achievement. It's not just the repetition itself but the positive feelings you cultivate around manifesting that will mold the practice into a habit. Pay close attention to clues from your unconscious mind, which often communicates through synchronicity. If a phrase or memory keeps surfacing unprompted, or you feel inexplicably drawn to a certain place, it may signify something your unconscious is trying to elevate into awareness. Likewise, weird coincidences like three different people recommending the same book could be the universe's way of sending you a message. For maximum power, align your specific intention with a deeper sense of purpose that drives you. For example, if your goal is to get a promotion, connect it to providing for your family or supporting cherished values. Anchoring aims in meaningfulness catalyzes the mind's manifesting abilities. Try this exercise, find a quiet, private space and relax through deep breathing. Visualize your current intention, then zoom out. What's the broader context surrounding this goal? Who else is affected, and how might achieving it create positive ripples? Will it inspire others, bring joy to your community, or solve problems? Open your eyes and write a statement capturing how this intention ties into your life's greater purpose. Refer back to this purpose statement whenever you feel doubt or uncertainty creeping in. By aligning conscious aims with subconscious drivers, you'll be channeling the maximum energy into manifestation. Chapter 6 Step 6 Open Yourself Up to Magic The process of manifesting an intention involves clarifying it, visualizing it in vivid detail, repeating the visualization, and deeply embedding it in the subconscious mind. Counterintuitively, however, the final step requires learning when to let go of rigid expectations regarding how that intention will materialize. It's easy to become overly attached to specific outcomes when manifesting goals. Remember, the purpose of detailed visualization is to imprint the aim in the unconscious, not necessarily preview the exact real-world result. When putting intentions out to the universe, you must remain open to how synchronicity may respond. As we take action toward realizing desires, observing the impacts allows us to calibrate our inner compass. When actions create positive effects, the brain salience network devotes even more resources to the intention. Conversely, if efforts meet frustration, it provides a useful pause for reevaluating whether that aim truly serves our greater good. 
Clinging too tightly to a particular envisioned outcome blinds us to other emerging opportunities and causes us to lose presence in the current moment. We may overlook wonderful developments unfolding simply because they don't match our predetermined ideals. To practice allowing the universe's magic to guide your intentions, try this, find a private space and do a body relaxation scan. Reflect on a past goal that became an obsession and on how that laser focus both aided and limited you. Remember the thrill of your eventual achievement, but recognize that those peak feelings can never last. Then consider an unaccomplished aim and the disappointment you felt, which also proved temporary. Take deep breaths, opening your heart to self-compassion. Send that warmth into any tension arising from attachment to specific results. Restore your wider perspective that the deepest meaning comes from being fully present, regardless of particular outcomes. Gently loosen your grip and realign with simply living each moment as it unfolds. Final Summary The main takeaway of this summary to Mind Magic by James Doty is that there are six steps to the manifestation process. 1. Focus and build self-efficacy. 2. Clarify your true desires. 3. Silence the inner critic through self-compassion. 4. Embed your intention through vivid visualization. 5. Chase your intention with passionate commitment. And 6. Open yourself to how the universe may guide your intention. Thanks for listening. If you enjoyed this, please like and subscribe to the Literary Digest for more videos like this one. And don't forget to leave a comment below and let us know what you found most helpful. Until next time, keep striving for success.